run, the famous Riggins run that ended with a touchdown. About six or seven years ago, it came. I realized how long the streak was and how many games it was. Dennis DiMaggio from Ellicott City keeps a spreadsheet saying he's never missed a game in his life. That's 508. Sunday makes 509. But when the Redskins are on, something is off. There have been a couple of weddings that have, uh, have happened, and I've either missed it or uh, missed the wedding or brought a TV with me to the reception. Going to the extremes, hoping their team goes all the way. It's something that you don't shake. You know. And Dennis DiMaggio is also relying on the past. He has been to three playoff games and they won all three. He hopes that good luck continues on Sunday against the Packers. Cheryl Connor, ABC 7 News. Okay, Cheryl, thank you very much. Well, Metro is adjusting its work schedule now to accommodate Redskins fans for the playoffs. Uh, work on the orange, blue, and silver lines will end at noon Sunday and then run normal weekend service. Until then, though, orange and blue line trains will only run once every 20 minutes. The silver line will only run from Wheel Ruston East and East Falls Church. Red line trains will run every 10 to 18 minutes and the Green Belt Station will be closed. They're going to have buses replacing trains right there. And are we going to have weather that's going to replace this yuck we've got outside right now? No, we've got more yuck to get first and then yeah. some heavy rain tomorrow night. Then it starts to change on uh, Sunday for us. Okay. So okay. let's tell you the story here. Uh, things haven't changed much weather-wise all day. We've been cloudy and drizzly with fog. This is a time lapse from a weather bug headquarters in Germantown, Maryland, where it's 30 nine degrees right now and through the day it's just been the clouds lowering a bit clouds coming up a bit and uh, just some drizzle and fog and just a messy afternoon again 39 degrees now with the sunset and it'll be getting dark all around the area very shortly here and temperatures which have been pretty steady all day should not move very much tonight pretty much mid to upper 30s far north and west lower 40s in the metro area and I think that'll do it when you wake up tomorrow morning uh, as we get through the late night hours tonight uh, 8 o'clock 9 o'clock there could be a couple showers a little disturbance moving through but the main weather events going to come tomorrow night, an area of low pressure that could bring heavy rain to parts of the area. But look what's to the west. 50 degrees in Charleston, West Virginia, 56 in Knoxville, Tennessee, 55 in Louisville right now. And that's the uh, air mass that's going to start working in later tomorrow night and especially Sunday before another cold front drops in from the north and west. So here's the rain, the heaviest rain now up across portions of west central Pennsylvania, back to the northwest across Lake uh, Ontario, Lake Erie. And we're going to see that pattern continue. We're on the southern fringes, get a few showers tonight. Heavier cluster off the outer banks will move out in the Atlantic Ocean. So through the day tomorrow, I think we'll be rid of the rain. We'll just be kind of cloudy and drab and drizzly, probably holding in the 40s a good portion of the day. But by tomorrow evening, the winds will change a little bit. As that happens, I think we'll start to see things warm up just ahead of this new storm system that's going to bring rain to the area late tomorrow night. Could be heavy times, could pick up an inch of rain or a little more in areas, but it'll get out of here fairly early. The concentrated rain Sunday morning, then it'll become gusty and breezy out of the southwest through the day, and that's going to boost temperatures to about 60 degrees. And then a cold front will come in later in the afternoon and evening and temperatures will start to drop. So the thumbnail sketch of the weekend blah tomorrow with steady to heavy rain tomorrow night highs to 53. We may not hit that 53 until tomorrow night and then on Sunday showers in the morning and then breezy and mild near 60 degrees may get a break of sunshine when the cold front comes through later in the afternoon. There could be a couple rain showers with that. So with that in mind, let's talk about the weather conditions at FedEx Field. We've been monitoring this all week and we're still on track. We think for getting the rain out of here. It'll be breezy and mild, maybe a glimpse of sun just before the game. Temperatures will be the warmest, uh, but then the front will come through. The winds will shift to the west. 10 to 20 miles per hour with higher gusts, so that could affect the kicking game possibly. Maybe some long passes, but temperatures will be falling during the balance of the afternoon. Now we contrast our game against the Packers at FedEx versus what's going to be happening when the Seahawks flap, 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 fly all the way to Minneapolis and they play a game Sunday at noon. It's going to be four degrees there, four degrees. They're building a new stadium for the Vikings. It's an enclosed stadium, but it doesn't open till next year. So they're playing their games at the University of Maine, where it's an open stadium. And as I understand it, they just have like metal or aluminum, uh, just bench seats throughout. The temperature there is going to be near a record for an NFL game around four degrees and very possibly wind chills 15 to 20 below zero. We count our blessings here in this very warm summer winter time, huh? So that's the story. It'll be fun either way to watch the game and to see the numbers all change. They'll go up and then they'll go down with the gusty winds arriving with the cold front Sunday night. Look what happens on Tuesday. A reinforcing cold front comes in and perhaps just maybe we could have snow flurries yeah. Tuesday night. So that means okay. those salt domes are going to be busy. Oh, God. Uh, and then just sunshine and chilly weather for most of the next week. Still no wow.